Hi, Jacuzzi. Thank you for bringing my new Whirlpool bath. Come on in. Here it is. Bath's turned up. Very nice. It's going to sit here in front of this wall and I'm going to look out there. I think well-being has become a really important part of my life. You know, yes, I still train, I still lift weights, I still do my exercise, but there's always some form of what I call my me time is put into the day. And that could be just sitting outside, having a cup of coffee, taking these two for a little walk, or, you know, just relaxing in the spa. I have to make sure that that's part of my day. I think the key light bulb moment for me was just about the self-doubt that I had in my own ability. I would always worry about what other people were looking like in warm-up or you know how the training is going and, and realised that I was, I was never going to achieve my full potential unless I looked after myself and got myself as the best version that I could be. And a lot of it was about mental preparation, it was about being mentally strong and being resilient. So it was really about trying to look at all the little pieces that I could put in place that you know would really help and give me confidence really. So I started looking about what I was eating, you know, the recovery side of it. And I think the last piece as I started to build that confidence was about the mental strength. And that's when we brought in the, the sports psychologist and, and he just said it was about finding a couple of minutes each day to just sort of rehearse in my mind, you know, the actual day, what I had to execute and just having clarity in it. I'm nowhere near as strict as I was when I ran, but I, I, you know, you still have the self-doubt. And I think to stop that and, and to achieve things on a, a daily basis, and that might be a personal goal, just feeling good about yourself. I will always look at what can I put in place. All those little things you know, really add up to a lot of decisions and who we are as individuals. The other jacuzzi products we have is obviously the swim spa, which has been brilliant all winter. I either run in the pool, I do a bit of swimming, uh, and also the elite athletes come in. So they might do it if they've got a niggle or a bit of an injury, they will swim in there, they'll run in the pool as well, or even just for a second session to make sure that they're not straining their body too much on the road or whatever it may be. So we've used it a lot. The sort of things I do now is, is just try and get that sort of balance. Um, I still exercise but it's very much more for my mental health and much more for trying to keep my weight down. What I've noticed as I've got older is that my body's got used to doing the same type of exercise. So going for a run now, even though I still sort of love it on a nice sunny day, um, it doesn't have the same effect on my body. So I try and cross, cross train so I'll do a bit of Pilates, a bit in the swim spa, I'll cross train on the, on the actual machines and I'll still run. And I think a lot of it is about just getting outside. Sometimes, you know, it's just going for a walk with the dogs, um, which just makes me feel so much better. I think if people are really going through a difficult time, I think it's about being kind to yourself. But I also would say to people, uh, reach out, chat to people, friends, it's so key and I think sometimes I just say get outside, do that exercise and just see how you feel afterwards. Be kind to yourself, don't beat yourself up, you know, be patient and if anything else just, just enjoy what you're doing. I think sometimes we take ourselves too serious and we lose the, the fun element of it and uh, we just need to remember why we're doing these things. I think what I've really learned and what I apply now is, is about, you know, that inner voice and we all have that inner voice and sometimes it's that voice that says, am I really good enough? You know, can I really do this? I'm tired today. Uh, it's that glass half empty scenario and I think what I had to learn is that, yeah, you know, that voice is going to be there, control it and every time it came in a negative thought, I'd screw it up in a piece of paper on my mind, I'd throw it out and I'd say, do you know what, you are good enough, you deserve this and you know, the, I totally believe the more that you do the work, you've got to work hard but you force feed those positive thoughts in the mind, the more that you will achieve what you deserve to achieve. I use jacuzzi products because you know well-being is such an important part of my life now. You know, I push my body for so much of it and I still train hard now, but I know that I need that recovery side of it. 
you know, not just physically for my body to repair, but also mentally, you know, to be able to switch off. The reason I chose the Whirlpool is because uh, a bath and relaxation is a really big pre-going to bed system for me. Um, I don't sleep brilliantly, but I know that having a bath really helps. This I can stay in for a long time because it's got a heater, um, but also it's got the jets. So if I have got aches and pains and I always get very stiff shoulders, I can relax in that, I can chill and repair almost my whole body and be ready for that bed. So that's it guys, time to go. My Whirlpool bath is waiting for me. See you later.